we're going to talk about critical incident analysis and how we look at things that occur in healthcare, critical incidents, and try to determine what happened in our process or what broke down that led to the critical incident happening. So the case we're going to talk about today is what everybody's been hearing about in the news. We're going to talk about the two healthcare workers that were exposed and ultimately tested positive for Ebola when the patient came through Texas Presbyterian about 22 days ago. So what do we know? We know that patient X entered the ED and there were supposed to be triggers in place through their electronic health records to identify patients coming from X countries with certain signs and symptoms that could be potential Ebola candidates. So the initial patient, the patient comes in initially, he's screened, he's supposedly flagged based on what we know, and really all we know is what we heard on the news. And for some reason, he did not, the, the <coughs> nurse did not alert the physician, whether she didn't tell him, or the physician didn't pick up on the trigger, the patient goes home, he comes back five days later via ambulance. The family says, hey, he has Ebola. We go from there. So we're going to talk about using the five whys, which is a tool that we use to break down and identify the root cause of any critical incident that we have. So we know our critical incident is that we had two healthcare workers exposed. So we're going to look at five, the five whys, the use of the five whys to determine why that is. So the very first thing that we want to do is talk about the equipment. So in terms of equipment, what contributed to the healthcare worker exposure? What do we think? Personal protective equipment. Not wearing personal protective equipment properly. Okay. Why? Not available. Not available. Why wasn't it available? Wasn't a priority. Why well, wasn't it a priority? So they weren't trained. Why weren't they trained? Don't have any. Don't have any. Why weren't they trained? Because administration. See how we answered each five why in terms of our equipment? Okay, let's look at our process. We know that their process was that they had a specific screening that they did when the patient entered to, into their ER. We know that didn't work. So why didn't it work? What, what went wrong? What do you think in terms of our process? Why did the initial screening fail? What contributed to it? administration didn't believe it was a priority so they didn't have the appropriate training in their process so we got another why here we didn't have any known cases the administration began failed to plan for the case the Ebola wasn't considered a real threat we think contributed to the two health care workers being positive for Ebola. So now we need to talk about our people. We know that we had 
two healthcare workers and patient X that were that were all involved in our critical incident that we're talking about. So in terms of our people, what do we think led to the positive exposure? our environment. Dallas, Texas, large hospital, state-of-the-art emergency room. What do we do as healthcare providers taking care of this patient? It was the first first mistake we made. eventually led to the two healthcare workers being positive for Ebola. This is called a process improvement. So what we're doing is using a critical incident of the two healthcare worker exposure. We're using the tool of the five whys. We're putting it in a fishbone diagram to try to determine what key factor was the most significant thing that led to the exposure of these two healthcare workers. So once we got our diagram down, we need to go back and what stands out to you that keeps occurring under each one of these headings? Every time we talk about something, there's a key thing that keeps popping up each time that seems to lead back to we've exposed our healthcare team. No training. No training. Excellent. So we could talk all day long about the process that didn't work, you know, the nurse didn't put it in the EMR, or the equipment was faulty because they didn't have what they were supposed to have, or the people were, you know, they didn't wear the appropriate equipment. They had it, we gave it to them. They didn't put it on, you know, they left them out of isolation. But it all comes back to they were not trained appropriately. So we use this today to look at what happened to the two healthcare workers in Texas, but you could take any incident. You could take, if you went into a patient's room and you pushed feeding through an IV line, heaven forbid, you could come back and you could narrow down the steps that you took and try to find, using the fish bone diagram, using the five whys and try to find the cause that led to the critical incident of putting the feeding in the tube. And you know, you could do this with anything. Anything major, anything minor, it doesn't matter. We do this, it's a process improvement tool that we use all the time in healthcare. We get everybody at the table and try to try to improve processes by using these simple steps. Any questions? <laughs> 